Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. Today I'm going to show you how I put together this pineapple coffee bar for summer with lots of fun DIYs from the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. This first project is my favorite. I got one of these little foil junky pineapples from the Dollar Tree and we are totally going to transform this into something special. So all you gotta do is remove all of this tinsel stuff. I hate this stuff, but I love the little cages that I can get that um, are really fun to craft with. And it's gonna give me like an exact pineapple shape to make a DIY for my coffee bar. And this is what we're gonna use. These are the wood flowers, the wood roses from the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. I've been seeing these a lot and I really wanted to make something with them. And I thought it would be a really fun idea to make a pineapple out of them. They're brown, they're wood. Um, I think it would be an interesting texture. So that's what we're gonna do. Now this was a little tricky. Um, they come in different sizes, like they're random. And so you kind of have to kind of put it together like a puzzle. And I'm just using the cage and putting some hot glue where the roses are gonna touch and trying to get it to fit because either one or two would fit in each one of the spaces. So I'm just trying to fill up like most of the area. And just taking my time and building this pineapple up. I thought maybe I was going to have to paint these, but I didn't. They just turned out so pretty and it's such a fun texture for a pineapple. So I worked, um, I started in the center there and I'm just moving out towards the edges. I was a little worried about all those tabs sticking out around the edges, but you know, the roses kind of covered everything. So I'm just gonna keep working. Um, it's gonna be a total of, I guess, five rows to cover all the pineapple with the roses. And I believe it was eight packages of roses from the Dollar Tree that I used, maybe seven and a half. Um, you get four in each one of the packages. Have you guys seen these at your Dollar Tree yet? I've been just dying to use them. Every time I go, I'm always picking up a package and I'm just like, what am I gonna make with these? And I'm so glad I finally found something to make with them. So cute. So I'm just gonna finish up the other side just like I did the first. Just kind of, I kind of put it there first to see if it's gonna fill or fit. Sometimes they're a little tricky and sometimes I had to glue them to each other to kind of get it to stay together. It's gonna be in an area where it's not gonna get moved a lot, so it doesn't have to be super sturdy, but I definitely want to try to keep it all together. So just gonna finish up this last row using lots of hot glue here. <laughs> and I kind of end up it's a little fragile. So I'm gonna go in and glue on some of the ones like that one <laughs> from the back to make sure everything is glued down where it's supposed to be. Now I kinda wanted to clean it up a little bit. You could kinda see through it. I didn't mind the green cage, but I didn't like you being able to see all the way through it. So I'm just gonna use a scrap piece of burlap and I'm just gonna cut like an oval shape here on the back just so we can finish off the back of this project. It turned out so pretty that I really um, wanna make it nice. I kinda wish I would've done this step first cause it would've given me like one more thing to glue onto, but that's okay. I'm just using hot glue to attach that to the back of our pineapple. <laughs> now for the top of the pineapple, it was a little taller than um, the shelf that I'm gonna put it on my coffee bar. And so I could have left it like that, but I'm gonna need to shorten it just a tiny bit. So I'm just gonna cut off like the leaf shapes. 
and kind of just leave me a like rectangle cage left to glue to. And I thought this greenery from the Dollar Tree would make a really interesting, fun top to the pineapple. I know the colors are like the green and the white, which is different from a pineapple, but sometimes like different is better. Like I really like the different colors and textures of this. It definitely looks like a pineapple, but it's an interesting pineapple if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm just going to peel and um, pull them off. They come off like two at a time and so I'm just going to kind of DIY with two at a time. Just attaching with hot glue, I kind of tuck them down underneath the little wood roses there to get me started. And then I also glue to the little plastic cage as much as I can. If I need to, I just glue it to um, the leaf like underneath of it to kind of give it some structure. And we're going to build the top to this pineapple. I had so much fun putting these DIYs together for you today. I just love pineapples and I am absolutely in love with how my coffee bar looks now. I hadn't done anything with it since Easter and it was just bumming me out and now it's so ready for summer. I love it. So I just keep adding leaves until I think it looks like a pineapple. And you know, I always need a couple more. Here at the end, I kind of cut them apart and kind of put them exactly where I wanted them to give me that nice pineapple shape. And I am in love with this DIY. I'm just gonna sit it on the shelf. It's kind of a substantial piece. So I'm just gonna kind of lean it up against my coffee bar that I DIY'd. And this is how it turned out. Isn't it cute? I am in love with that pineapple. <laughs> Okay, up next, it's the carrot patch. You guys have probably seen this sign a million times. I've DIY'd it a million times. It was a thrift flip sign. It's just a pallet wood sign that I got at Goodwill. And I have made this over, I think, like 10 times. <laughs> it's a perfect size for above my coffee bar. So we're going to remake it again. I always say when I glue on wood pieces like that, that I'm not going to use too much glue. So it's going to be easy to change it. And then I always use too much glue. So I had to work on it. But with the heat gun, that definitely takes off the hot glue. A little bit of scraping. And we can remake this into a pineapple summary sign. So just starting with ivory um, chalk paint. Using chalk paint because I want to cover up all that stuff. I'd use stencils. I've painted it. I've done so many things with this sign. It's kind of funny. It was my Farm Fresh Pumpkin sign. It was my Santa's Hot Cocoa Bar sign. It's been so many different things. My winter sign, my Easter sign, and now it's my summer sign. A good piece like this from the thrift store can really take you through a lot of projects. So I am just gonna go over it with paint until I can't read that writing through it anymore. And then I wanted to show you a way to do like a hand painted sign without using your Cricut. Cause I know we're not all blessed to have a Cricut. And so I'm gonna show you how to do it with these um, sticker letters from the Dollar Tree. Now this one is my favorite because this leaves like a perfect impression of a letter and they're nice and big. And so we're just gonna spell out the word sweet. If you don't get it where you want it the first time, you can relocate these. And that will leave sweet white underneath those letters. Then I wanted to show you that you could also mix up fonts. So this is kind of like a bubble letter. It doesn't work as well um, as a stencil because it's got like that border around the bubble letter. So it comes out a little different, but we'll deal with that. I just kind of wanted two different fonts and we're gonna spell out sweet summer. I thought that really went with the pineapple theme and the summer theme. I'm going to use my favorite color, Caribbean blue acrylic paint, and just going to go over with one very simple coat of paint. Um, the board is, the sign is becoming a little distressed from all the stuff I've done to it, but that kind of adds a little bit of character. So just one coat. I don't care if it looks um, not well covered. I want the distressed look. And then I'm going to use one of these paper pineapples from the summer section at Dollar Tree. And there's some really cool stuff in that package. And I want the pineapple because I want it to look like a hand-painted sign. 
So it was a little large and I didn't really want it to have the white border. So I'm just gonna use my scissors and cut the white border off. That's gonna make the pineapple the perfect size for our sign. And we're gonna add that instead of hand painting a pineapple on there, it's just gonna be way easier. And I'm gonna show you how to make it look like it's hand painted. And again, I'm just letting the stickers dry on there with the paint that I put on there before. And then since there's different slats, I'm gonna actually cut the pineapple so that it doesn't cover the openings. It's gonna make it look um, more like part of the piece. So just attaching it with a thick layer of Mod Podge to the sign and kind of lining it up where the board ends like that and then Mod Podging over the top. This is a nice thick cardboard material that this pineapple is made out of. So it's really easy to glue down with Mod Podge. Then I'm just gonna cut off the top piece and do the same thing. Um, the image is kind of printed on both sides of the pineapple, but I notice one side is maybe a little bit shinier than the other side. So I'm just trying to keep it uniform and make my image line up. And then the third section we'll Mod Podge on is just the top of the pineapple leaves. And this sign was so easy. It turned out so cute. It's custom. It's perfect for what I wanted to go for for my pineapple coffee bar. And again, this is my coffee bar, but you can use these pineapple DIYs anywhere in your house. A lot of things would even work for tiered trays. And we got it all glued on. So I'm going to dry that and it is time to take off our letters. Now I'm just using my weeding tool, uh, my Cricut weeding tool from Dollar Tree and weeding out the plastic letters. Sometimes they fall apart. I did let it dry on there. And um, if you do find that it leaves like some sticker residue behind, you can go in there gently with a baby wipe and um, get that residue off there. And then we're going to um, weed off this line as well. My brightness and all my lights was a little light there. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see. And um, just being very careful. I don't want to scrape that white paint that was underneath. That's kind of going to be the base of what we're going to do to hand paint this sign. So we got all of the stickers off. And then we're gonna customize it. I thought green would be pretty. That would definitely be very pineapple-y. And so I'm gonna go in with my green paint pen and just try to recreate those bubble letters just inside those letters to kind of give it like a hand-painted look just by leaving a little bit of a white border all the way around. And I get these paint pens on Amazon. Um, a lot of you are always asking about these. I will post a link below. There's so many colors to choose from and it's so easy to hand paint with the paint pens. And honestly, this was probably easier than even using like my Cricut vinyl stencils. Then for the top, I thought we would make it yellow. That would be very pineapple-y too. So I'm just going to basically use that white letters as a guide. And we're going to go in with my yellow paint pen and make them this pretty color of yellow, sweet summer. And I think that looks pretty cute. Now I want to heavily distress it all over with some ivory paint using my baby wipe to... A, kind of blend it in and this is going to kind of blend everything together especially that cardboard pineapple on there um, to make it look like it's part of the sign and that it's hand painted and this was definitely the trick to um, finish off this sign for my coffee bar so just heavy heavy on the distress and then just smear it all around and this is the final result our sweet summer sign I didn't want it to be too busy because I'm going to have decorations in front of it on my coffee bar shelf as well. And I'm going to go hang this up on the wall above my coffee bar and let me show you how it looks. It's all the way up by my ceiling at the very top of my coffee bar and I think it turned out really sweet. 
Okay, on to the next pineapple DIY. I got this white pineapple tray at the Dollar Tree and with their summer stuff. They have them in several different colors. I thought the white would be easier to paint, but you could probably paint any of them. And this tray is gonna be so simple, it's gonna blow your mind. So we're just gonna paint it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with some green acrylic and paint the top of the pineapple green. Leaving some of the white showing through, that's gonna kind of give it a distressed look. Now the texture on the pineapple is just like a pineapple. It's so cool. So to bring that out, we're gonna use some Antique Wax by Waverly. And I wanna work in one direction quickly <laughs> and get as much texture as I can when I am painting the front of this. Now the Antique Wax by Waverly, one reason I use it on wood is that it dries so easily and it's so fun. Now on plastic, it does not dry quickly. And even with my heat gun, I noticed it still doesn't dry quickly. You just have to kind of let it sit on there and dry. So once you get it on there, get it on there exactly how you like. You're not gonna be able to go over with any more and you don't wanna touch it. So <laughs> it's a once and done. But look how cool that turned out. Now I kind of want it to stand and I don't think it'll really stand on its own. So I'm gonna make a little stand with one of these little frames from the crafter square from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna stain the stand with the Antique Wax by Waverly as well. So it'll kind of match and blend in with the pineapple. Leaving the ring um, with raw wood like that so that I can hot glue that on to the tray and get a good hold. And that's all there is to this DIY. I just stood it up on my coffee bar and I love the texture of that pineapple. I think it turned out so cute. Okay, see this ugly little pineapple from the summer section at the Dollar Tree? We are gonna give this pineapple an extreme makeover. <laughs> it turns out so much better than this. So we're gonna take all that gold foil off and the cage wasn't even put together inside there. It's so funny, it just kind of fell apart. So there are little tabs to pinch it together. You could hot glue it. Um, I'm going to try to pinch it back together. And this is the rope that we're gonna use from the Dollar Tree to um, cover, recover the pineapple. I love how this turned out. And then I found this little succulent that looks just like the top of a pineapple because the top of the pineapple that was on there looked really kind of cheap. So I'm trying to figure out how to put it back together. And it looked like it just needed to be pinched back together actually with the little plastic tabs. So I'm gonna go grab my pliers and put this little guy back together just by squeezing it back together and that worked. If it doesn't work, you can always hot glue it. I don't need it to be too strong because I am gonna wrap it like they had it wrapped too with some of this rope from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna start at the top, leaving a hole big enough that I can put that succulent in the top. So we're kinda, I guess, kinda make like a little pineapple pot and wrap that around. Um, if it feels like it needs some reinforcement, like the top there, I did add a little bit of hot glue and I was hoping that the rope was long enough to go to cover the entire pineapple. And it was close, close, close at the end. And I thought maybe I could get away with it. But then upon looking at it, I was like, no, I think I'm gonna have to add a little bit more rope to this pineapple. So I just dealt with it. <laughs> so I'm gonna glue off the end there and start another rope just for the last couple rows there on our little pineapple. This DIY was so easy and it turned out so cute. I'm so glad that I decided to change the top of the pineapple too. I did not really like the one that came on there. So once I get to the bottom, I'm gonna cut that off and glue that down. And then the little um, fibers are kind of sticking out on the side. So I'm gonna clean it up a little bit with just a lighter to burn off any of the excess fibers. I like that, it always gives me a nice clean look whenever I wrap something in rope. And it's gonna give me the nice coastal vibe as well. And we're just gonna glue our little succulent in here and look how much cuter it looks. Oh my gosh, no comparison the before and after pictures on this pineapple. It's so sweet. This would be perfect for a tear tray as well. 
Okay, our next DIY, I found these great summer napkins with a pineapple on them at Dollar Tree in the summer section. And we're gonna make a cute little sign using one of these little wood signs from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna work on the back. I thought that'd be the perfect surface to um, decoupage a napkin to the back. The funny thing is, is that the other side was pineapples too. So I'm gonna kind of end up with a two-sided sign. So that's perfect. And um, the napkin's really thin. So I didn't want this brown to show through. So I'm using my ivory chalk paint just to do a base coat on the back there so that when I glue the napkin on, you're not gonna be able to see the brown through it. Now, when you're working with um, the napkins, you're gonna want one single ply. Now, these napkins felt very thin. I'm gonna go ahead and cut one of the little sections out. I made sure my sign was a little smaller than my napkin, so it would kind of overlap the edges like that. And it feels like it's only one layer, but that's deceiving. It's actually two. So I'm gonna carefully um, separate the two layers because to avoid wrinkling, you definitely just want one layer of the napkin. Now, the other secret to being able to decoupage with um, the napkins is you want your Mod Podge to be really thin. I put too much on there, so <laughs> I am trying to go through and thin that out a bit because I don't want any wrinkling. I want this to be a really easy DIY. And I'm gonna carefully lay that on the top, overlapping the edges of our sign and use making sure my fingers are dry just very lightly. Smoothing that down, I don't want to rip the thin, thin napkin. And then I give it a quick dry with my heat gun. And then I'm just gonna have like the extra um, edges of the napkin around there that I just need to remove and it couldn't be easier. I'm just gonna use a sanding block from the Dollar Tree and the napkin just falls right off. It is very thin. But this turned out so cute. It's so colorful, it's perfect, it's summery, it's pineapple-y, and I got a two-sided sign out of it. And this is how it looks on my coffee bar. Summer vibes, I'm here for it. What about you guys? Okay, are you guys ready for another pineapple DIY? I got this little wood pineapple at the um, Dollar Tree in the summer section, and I thought we could make a coffee sign since it is a coffee bar. We need a coffee sign, right? So I'm gonna use one of the signs from the Dollar Spot at Target. I got these in the fall on clearance. I love these signs from the Dollar Spot. They're super thick. They have hangers, they come with stencils. They're like usually two-sided, like black on one side, wood on the other. And I always grab these when they're on clearance. This is a rectangle, it's a perfect size. I don't need the hanger on it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew that. And I thought we could make a little pineapple sign. With this little pineapple, and the first thing I want to do is to stain it. So just using some Antique Wax by Waverly, we're gonna stain this. It stains so good, cause it's a wood. Um, you think with the little markers that come with it that it's like a kid project, but it's totally not. If you use stain and paint, it can turn out really cute. And then this is a nod to my vacation that we're going on this summer. We're gonna go to Hawaii for our 20th wedding anniversary. My husband's taking me to Kona, Hawaii on the big island. And they're famous for their coffee. So I thought it'd be really fun for it to say Kona Coffee since we're going on summer vacation to Hawaii. It's perfect, pineapples for Hawaii, right? So I'm just using a combination of the wood letters from the Dollar Tree to spell out Kona and the little galvanized metal letters to spell out coffee. On the galvanized metal letters, you only get like half the alphabet. So be careful when you buy those that you're getting the whole alphabet, right? <laughs> And so the wood ones, I'm just gonna paint. So I thought I'd bring a little bit of blue into this. With the Kona, I'm just gonna use a makeup sponge and some of that Caribbean blue paint. It's gonna kinda tie it into that coffee bar or the uh, sweet summer sign that we made that was that color. And I'm just gonna sponge that on the top of my wood letters. Such an easy way to paint those. 
Now for coffee, I kind of wanted that to be brown to kind of go with my pineapple. So I'm using um, some acrylic paint. This is, I think, burnt umber, just a brown paint. Working in one direction, it's gonna kind of let some of the metal shine through. It's gonna kind of make it look distressed. And then of course I want to paint the pineapple as well. So again, I'm using some of those great paint pens that I get on Amazon. And we are gonna paint just like the green parts and the yellow parts on this. Even though it's stained with that antique wax, you can definitely paint over it. It's gonna give you kind of a cool finish. And we're gonna distress it as well because come on, Coastal Farmhouse, I distress everything, right? <laughs> So just kind of fill it in. You can see the lines, the black lines still through on there once you stain it. And then the pineapple had this cool little, like almost like an arrow pattern um, on each one of the little triangles. So just filling that in yellow with my paint pen as well. And I wanted to take a moment to thank you so much for watching today's video. If you wouldn't mind hitting that like button at the end of the video, if you would comment your favorite project below, I'd really appreciate it. Or you can just come on there and say hi. I always enjoy reading all of your comments. So here I am distressing it, right? I distressed the Kona letters. I'm also distressing the pineapple, heavily distressing it like I did the sign and wiping it all around with a baby wipe. It's gonna give me a very weathered look, which is what I'm going for, the island vibe on my little Kona coffee sign. So I kinda just keep working on it until I get it the level of distress that I want. And now it's time to put this little sign together. So I'm simply going to hot glue all of these on. So just one letter at a time, trying to keep them level. I, I got a new detail um, hot glue gun. I probably should have used it for this project because this thing spits out a lot of hot glue. <laughs> so I'm trying to not, not, not put too much glue down, but just carefully gluing all those down. You kind of got to be careful. The metal letters, when they're painted like that, the paint kind of wants to come off. I don't mind a little bit coming off because it's going to make it look distressed, but I don't want too much of that paint coming off with me handling it. And we are just putting this all together. We're gonna hot glue the little pineapple on there as well. Then I thought it needed something. I thought it was still a little bit plain, so I thought we could use some of the Dollar Tree brown rope to make a little frame, and that was the perfect final touch for this DIY. I'm just going to simply hot glue it all the way around the edges of the frame. And I love how this turned out. It's perfect for my pineapple coffee bar. If you haven't had a chance to join our Facebook group, we would love to have you over there. I will post a link in the description below. I have the most creative viewers in the world. You're gonna love everybody's ideas. Every time I get on there, I'm blown away by all of your creativity and you're gonna find so many beachy projects, it's gonna blow your mind. So come join us over on Facebook. Also, follow me on Instagram. I've been doing reels over there and I really need to get my engagement up over there. I have a lot of followers, but I don't have very much engagement. So we're ready for our next DIY. This is so easy. I found this cute little pineapple tropical drink luggage tag at the Dollar Tree and this is gonna be like the easiest sign ever. <laughs> I'm gonna use one of these little burlap signs from the Dollar Tree, one of the typo signs. I really hope you're able to find these. I'm very upset that they took them off the shelves at my store. And just peeling that top sign off and hammering the nails down. I did kind of snag it when I peeled it, took that off. I'm not sure how I did that. But I am simply gonna attach this little tropical pineapple drink. It's got like a little frame around the back that holds a luggage tag. And I'm just gonna simply hot glue that onto my burlap sign. It's gonna give us a little summer pineapple-y tropical drink. And then to cover the little hole where the luggage tag was, I'm just gonna make a little twine bow. Perfect coverage for that hole and the perfect final touch for this DIY. How easy was that pineapple DIY? This would be perfect for a tear tray as well. So cute, isn't that perfect for summer? I love it. 
Okay, are you guys ready for another pineapple-y DIY? I got one of these galvanized metal pineapples at the Dollar Tree. One of these little clip-on succulent plants there as well. And we are going to recreate this pineapple. It's gonna be cool. I thought it would be really fun for the leaves just to cut these little succulent leaves off. They're almost the perfect size for little pineapple leaves for the top of this pineapple. And I'm just gonna simply hot glue those on, kind of like the pattern um, that it shows that the pineapple leaves would be on there. And then once I get all of it covered, I'm just gonna keep kind of building it out to kind of make it look like the top of the pineapple, kind of more like a 3D. And we are gonna recover this entire pineapple. It comes on a great wood stand, so I don't need to do anything with that. But just working with this, I keep kind of adding to it until I get that perfect final touch here. Just one more. <laughs> then I thought it would be really fun and really beachy to cover this pineapple with seashells. You can see the reflection in there. You can see my chief shirt. <laughs> These are those little tiny seashells from the Dollar Tree that come in the little glass bottles. I like to organize mine in one of these little toy organizers from um, the Dollar Tree. And we are gonna cover the whole pineapple in these little seashells. So I'm just doing a stripe of hot glue and doing a whole row at a time. Probably shouldn't have done it that way because you can end up seeing the hot glue through it. I do end up masking that though. So if you want to take your time and do one at a time, but your girl was crafting late to get this out for you guys. So <laughs> I was one row at a time <laughs> and just simply attaching those with hot glue, kind of fitting them all together. I'm having them kind of all face the same direction. And then when I get up here to the top, I kind of wanted to overlap the leaves a little bit there. And it gives me that nice pineapple bumpy surface. Then they are kind of white, they're kind of boring. And so I thought it'd be fun to kind of stain them a little bit. So first we're gonna do that with some Antique Wax by Waverly and a chunky brush from the Dollar Tree. And just distressing the shells, it's gonna bring out that beautiful bumpy seashell texture on each one of these. And then I didn't really like that you could see the hot glue in there. So then I'm gonna go in all the little cracks. This is that burnt umber acrylic. I thought it might stick to the galvanize better than the um, Antique Wax by Waverly. And I'm kind of sloppily going in and kind of painting all the in-between parts. I don't know if it would've been easier to paint that first. I don't know. But then I just kind of distress it all with a baby wipe until I get it looking the way I like it. And that definitely hid all the hot glue that you could see through that. And it gave it a very interesting texture. So just trying to cover up as much of the galvanized metal as I can. Then I thought just to make it look a little prettier, I would take some twine and tie that around the stem of our pineapple. And that's the last step in our little seashell pineapple DIY. I think this turned out really cute. This would be perfect perfect for a tear tray as well. And this is how it looks on my coffee bar. And our last DIY. I found these little silicone ice cube trays. I guess that's what they are um, from the Dollar Tree in a pineapple shape. And I thought we could fill one up with hot glue to make a little tiny pineapple and we can make a pineapple plant. I thought that would be really fun. Since living in Florida, I have found that like the local pineapples here, just cut the top of them off and put the top like in some water and it'll start to grow roots, plant that and you'll have your own pineapple plant that grows pineapples. So that's what I'm gonna make it look like is a little pineapple plant. I never knew that until I moved to Florida, honestly. <laughs> so I went and put that in the freezer so that hot glue would set up inside the mold. And then I'm gonna use, this is that same plant that I used on the top of the rope pineapple. Um, and it looks just like a pineapple plant as well. 
I'm going to use a little tiny um, mint green pot that I got at the Target Dollar Spot for a dollar. And I'm going to fill it up with a little floral foam from the Dollar Tree. Just cutting out a quick and easy circle and putting the little succulent down inside. And it's going to look just like a little pineapple plant. So cute. And you know, the Dollar Spot is cheaper than the Dollar Tree now, if you get the dollar stuff. Now, there is like this pointed um, piece sticking out the top. I'm going to use my scissors to cut that off. So I kind of have an area to put my little pineapple. And then it was kind of a struggle to pop this out. I don't know if it's because I did the piece like closest to the top. But I had to push hard. But it finally comes out. And here is our little pineapple that we created. It's so cute. It even has like the little checkerboard texture on the pineapple. And we just need to paint it. So I'm just using acrylic paints. This is that burnt umber brown color and a little tiny brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint the pineapple part brown. Gonna make it look kind of like a not very ripe pineapple, one that's still growing. And the only tip I have is when you are painting uh, the hot glue items that you make like this, you can use your heat gun, but be very careful because um, this stuff will melt, right? <laughs> then I'm gonna use kind of a bright green color here for the top of our pineapple. Just another acrylic paint. I think that's Christmas green. And carefully <laughs> drying that. And then I'm also gonna paint the back as well in case you can see that kind of flat on the back. I thought about doing two and backing them together, but it's kind of big on its own. So I think one's fine. Then I'm going to use my little yellow paint pen to kind of draw that pattern on that's on there so you can kind of see it a little bit better because you really couldn't see the texture too much. And then kind of distress that back with the brown to make it not look so obvious. And we have a little tiny pineapple for our little tiny pineapple plant. And I'm just gonna hot glue that on that stem on the top of that little succulent from the Dollar Tree. And that's all there is to this DIY. We have a little baby pineapple plant. This would be really cute on a tear tree as well. Oh, I do go in and touch up the green a little bit because I thought it didn't really match the leaves that well. Just with like um, kind of more of a pea green color. And I love this project. It's so unique. It's so Florida. It's so pineapple-y, and this would be perfect for a tear tray as well. This is how it looks on my coffee bar, my little baby pineapple plant. Okay, the last project is so easy, I don't even think it's really a DIY. But I wanted a pineapple banner for my top and my bottom shelf on my coffee bar. Um, I also DIY'd my coffee bar um, back in November. So if you're interested in making your own coffee bar, I thrift flipped a $12 dresser and I love my coffee bar. It's the center of my, my world. <laughs> and I love to decorate with pennant banners. So these little yellow coasters, you get four in a package from the Dollar Tree in the summer section. They even have a hole in the top. So all I have to do is string twine through them. That's why I'm like, I don't even know if this is really a DIY. It's so easy. So I string one for the top and string one for the bottom. And the only tricky part is getting that twine through the hole. I probably should have used a little bit thinner one. But then I'm just going to attach these on both of the shelves of my coffee bar. And I will show you how that looks. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I really hope you enjoyed all these little pineapple DIYs. Now stick around for the final reveal of my pineapple coffee bar. But first, I want to give a huge shout out to those of you that have given me some super thanks. I appreciate it so much. It's a new feature that YouTube is added below the videos where you're allowed to give a tip to your favorite creator starting as low as $2. And these wonderful viewers have all supported my channel and I thank you so much. Now, are you ready for the final reveal? Let's go. Hard working every day. 